Welcome to the next episode of the Dark Web Deacon. Before we begin, be sure to smash that subscribe button, click the bell to turn on notifications, and check out the latest items in the Dark Web Deacon merch store. There is a link in the video description below, and become a true Dark Web enthusiast. New videos are published every Monday and Thursday. For today's episode, we're going to look at why does a website name like www.disney.com have the structure it has? In order to understand internet domain names, we need to view internet domains in three parts. The first or top level domain, the second level domain, and the third level domain. The first level domains are categorized into three subgroups for the most part, country domains, generic domains, and inverse domains. Examples of generic domains are .com or .edu. Country domains are .us or .in for India. Inverse domains are like 120.40.30.130-address-darpa and are really for specialized use, so we're really not going to worry about those today. The initial set of generic top-level or first-level domains was defined in October of 1984. It was a set of general-purpose domains for .com, .edu, .gov, .mil, .org, and .net domain was added shortly after that. So what is the purpose of a domain? Well, a registered domain name is unique to that website and cannot be used by anyone else since it works a little bit like a street address in the physical world, but for the internet. Some of the first level domain types that we all know are as follows, .com, .net, .edu, .org, .mil, and .gov. But what about .fiat, or .shop, or .top? As of April 2021, there was an astonishing 1,502 first-level domains. But as a consumer, we rarely only use but a few in practice, and many have no actual websites linked to them, yet serve just as future placeholders. Namestat.org keeps track of the stats for many of these alternative first-level domains, and .xyz, .top, and .online are the current big three. Let's do a little bit of a deeper dive into the top six most popular top-level domains. First, .com. It's the first high-level domain in popular use and was for business shorthand. .com was originally developed for use by businesses, and .com was the most common type of high-level domain for companies, websites, and emails by the mid-1990s. .org. .org was developed for nonprofits. These intentions were often not maintained or implemented over time. Today, nonprofits, profit enterprises, schools, and communities are using this high level domain. Third, .NET. It was network shorthand that was developed specifically for institutions participating in network systems, such as web service providers or an infrastructure company. As with .com, the restrictions were never upheld to limit .NET to just networking purposes, and is one of the most popular top class fields today. Next up is .edu. .edu was produced for educational organizations. While the .edu domain was designed for universities worldwide, only schools in America were linked to it. Schools in other nations used .edu together with their national domain. .mil was specifically developed for the US military. This limitation is still maintained as opposed to other top level domains. In combination with .mil, it is common for .mil to use second and third level domains. And finally, .gov, a shorthand that is restricted for the government. Like .mil to the federal government, it is only allowed for agency use or staff use. Today, .gov has been used in towns, cities, areas, city counties, and even Native American tribes by government agencies. So that covers first level or top level domains. Next up is second level domains. Domains of the second level are domains that follow the first level or top level domain in the hierarchy. 
For example, the Disney in Disney.com is the second level domain. It's the name of the company or seller or entity that registers the domain name with the registrar as part of the second level domain. And that's about it. It really is the unique identifier of the identity that owns the website. Finally, let's look at third level domains. The www in www.disney.com is the third level domain. Larger enterprises often use third level areas as identifiers to differentiate between different departments or systems and may have a www1 or finance.mycompany.com as part of the name resolution. www is by far the most frequent third level domain in general use, which is used to resolve to the internet. So Dark Web Deacon, why do domain names and the domain structure really matter? Well, aside from being a key fundamental building block of how the internet works, there also is clear evidence of how much consumers either trust a domain or how memorable the domain is, depending on the type of structure you use. For example, .com is the number one most trusted domain extension. Also, URLs with a .com extension are about 33% more memorable than URLs without one. So the first and top level domains, of course, have importance, and especially the second level domains too, in terms of how the name is structured and how long it is, also have an impact in terms of how trustworthy, memorable, and how likely it is someone is to potentially mistype the name and come up with another domain name. And finally, there definitely is some criticism to having so many approved top-level domains. Uh, following the vote to expand generic top-level domains, many trade associations and large companies led by the Association of National Advertisers formed the Coalition of Responsible Internet Domain Oversight. The coalition opposes the expansion of these generic top-level domains, citing its deeply flawed justification with excessive costs and harm to brand owners and search results. Another opponent is Esther Dyson, the founder and chairperson of Icon, who wrote that the expansion will create jobs for lawyers and marketers, but add little extra value for anyone else. Hopefully you found this episode useful and informative, and don't be shocked in the future if you come across a weird website link with a .duck or a .vip extension. Thanks for watching, and as always, please like, subscribe, and provide comments, and turn on notifications by clicking the bell in order to check out future videos published twice a week.